During COVID-19, two medications made the most highlights, ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine. During that period, we didn't have any medication. We didn't know how the virus is replicating, what are the complications. And based on our previous experience from different physician groups, we repurposed or tried to repurpose a medication and use them for clinical use with the attempt to control COVID-19. Now, ivermectin is making the highlights again. Governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, and First Lady of Florida, Casey DeSantis, who happened to be breast cancer survivor, opted to establish a Florida Cancer Innovation Fund, and they were able to collect initially $60 million, and now in the latest report, up to $140 million for research, and they have a scientific team already put together with the attempt to understand ivermectin if we could repurpose these medications for cancer treatment. That's what Ron DeSantis does. During even COVID-19, I happened to manage COVID floor for 11 months single-handedly, and I followed COVID information coming through, how people responded not only to the disease emotionally, environmentally, and politically. I think we had the best environment to tackle a pandemic. Like continue his legacy rather than waiting for somebody to come up with a solution whether ivermectin could be repurposed for cancer treatment. He put together money, a research team, and they are going to go ahead and know the facts. And that's how science progresses. This is how we kill all the controversies. Because people talk a lot, but it takes a lot to put together initiative and make it happen. Like in every video, we will go through journey. What is ivermectin? Why we are talking about in relationship to the cancer? How much money and time is going to be dedicated to that? Then what are the cancers or the mechanisms where this drug is being studied? And then finally, what could be the potential outcomes of this initiative? Florida Cancer Innovation Fund started with Florida First Lady Casey DeSantis, who had triple negative to best of my knowledge, which I could get on the internet, triple negative breast cancer. Once this kind of tumor hits you, you want to get every option on the table. And if there is a potential option like ivermectin or role of ivermectin in, in breast cancer, you want to know. Ivermectin is a Nobel Prize winner medication. We have been using it for 50 years because this medication prevented a lot of parasitic infections, especially riverside blindness. And we use this very frequently in the resistance scabies and multiple parasitic infections. The way this medication works is in the cells, there are chloride channels acts on that and that leads to paralysis of the parasite and eventually kills it. Once you use these kind of medication for one indication during time, you collect other experiences and the mechanism of actions. And that is the reason this research is being conducted, whether this medication could be repurposed to help patients in cancer treatment. The safety of this medication has been very well established. We have been using it 50 years without any significant trouble. And the way human brain works is when you take any medication, we call blood brain barrier. When you take the medication, your brain is protected so that these medication cannot get to your brain and you so that your brain can, you have a blood brain barrier. So the medication cannot get to your brain and cannot affect you that the toxicity of the medication is prevented and we are able to take all those toxic medications and have preferably working brain. The doses which have been proposed 
for cancer treatment are definitely more than what we normally use in clinical practice. And that is what I hope this study will test and they will find it out how far we could push. What was the reason we started looking into ivermectin again and why our governor and first lady have put together such a big initiative? It started with one understanding that these medications can lead to a couple of possible mechanisms which should be scientifically explored and we could possibly use this medication if it is effective. Number one, this medication helps to program cancer cells to die. We call direct cell death, which is very important mechanism like you might have heard the word autophagy, intermittent fasting. This is a big concept where all the old senescent cells accumulate in the body lead to degenerative changes. The same way this medication has been postulated that it leads to cancer direct cell death. It can program that these cancer cells dying. That's the one possible mechanism where this research will be looking at. Second thing is cancer cells, when they're exposed to chemotherapy, they become resistant. Second mechanism is this medication will possibly work with the chemotherapies to reduce cancer chemotherapy resistance. Third mechanism which is being explored is as an immune modulator. Cancer cells are very smart. When the, your chemo or radiation therapy you are having, those cells need to be metabolically hot and this, that's how these medications get to them and kill them. When these cancer cells become cold, chemotherapeutic drugs cannot reach them and cannot kill them. It is postulated that possible ivermectin will make those cold cancer cells hot and they will be more amicable to be killed. I know all the controversy regarding COVID treatment. Yes, in case of COVID, definitely it was a dud there was no effect. But it's not the drug to be blamed that why medical community was trying to repurpose this medication. We started from a place where there was no good alternative available and some of the outspoken physicians were tethering on the fence line to be totally blatantly wrong. I am not in a position that they were trying to manipulate the effect but I think in that time, because there were left and right people dying around you, you are desperate, you will use. And if you have a minimal success in a pandemic, you tend to over exaggerate and you try to hang on to those treatment modalities. Because I manage for months on 24 seven, COVID patients. It was a very difficult time when you don't have it, people will hang on to anything. Now, if this Florida Cancer Innovation Fund finds that these medications are effective, it will lead to two things. Number one, if it's effective, we will use it, repurpose it, and I'm pretty sure there will be more and big trials will happen. But if it's a negative trial, the things will stop. And that is the beauty of a research and initiative. Personally, living through COVID and going through these medications where patients come every day asking for these kind of medications and then you don't have the evidence. And as a physician, we are held to evidence-based standard that we cannot prescribe you something based on anecdote or incomplete research. Last month, I had a patient with breast cancer. Her oncologist was not giving her a prescription for ivermectin and she thought that a primary care will do that. And unfortunately, I have to say no to her that I cannot give you the medication. And she went to Tennessee to last of my information where this medication can be procured over the counter. And she apparently claims that she's doing good. I am not a judge of that, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention that ivermectin is again making some headlines but it's based on science it's not based on any kind of trying to falsify information it is a research product governor ron DeSantis, that he's taking this initiative 
And I understand this is personal, but that's how all research starts. If you look at all the research grants which come in, they usually come from people who have political will and initiative or somebody rich who they have a personal problem and they're trying to find a solution and we all benefit. I hope in this video you understand that ivermectin is making news again. There is a research project, it is very well funded, there is a timeline on it, a research team is there and they have a very specific rules or guidelines under which they will be working to look at and explore potential mechanisms. Like, share and subscribe to my channel Kundas MD and I will see you in one of our next videos. Thank you very much.